Many homes and businesses are waiting for the power to come back on. Here's a live look now at the current outages, where you can see more than 160,000 people are without power across parts of central Ohio near Ashland, Worcester, and Millersburg. And what started as maybe an inconvenience is turning into a real concern as temperatures into the 90s are expected in the coming days. I checked in on Richland and Wayne counties, both hit hard by the storms, to see how they're preparing. As soon as I heard a boom, I was like, it was this tree. Ken Sanders heard the boom, then lost power Monday night in Worcester. In the city and Wayne County, fallen trees are making power line repairs harder to get to. The Wayne County Emergency Management Agency says it could be days. So they can't get to the places they need. The poles are snapped, transformers are, you know, busted open. With high temperatures on the way, they're working with the Red Cross and United Way to set up cooling shelters. But as of this morning, the generator for the Salvation Army cooling shelter was down. I have been in contact with uh, the service providers and they are working diligently to uh, get the power turned back on due to the extreme heat that we are facing. Emergency management in Richland County says about half their county was in the dark this morning, and they're getting support from Sandusky and Huron County Emergency Services and are also planning to set up cooling centers. In the meantime, those without power have to get creative to stay cool. Probably just be sitting in the basement where, it's a, where we have some natural cooling and and try to wait things out until the electricity's back on. Now, I also spoke with First Energy. They told me their crews are working 16-hour shifts, and they're also bringing in crews from Pennsylvania and other parts of Ohio to help. Their max estimated restoration time is Thursday evening.